Wright Institute Outstanding Dissertation Award can be an area of uh, the following study, the following areas. An identified problem of importance, a research question that is insightful and imaginative, a creative research approach, a rigorous research design, academic and scholarly excellence. So I will now announce the recipient of the 2011 Outstanding Dissertation Award. When you hear your name, please stand at your seat while I discuss your dissertation. The recipient of the 2011 Outstanding Dissertation Award is Dr. Margaret resolution and the impact of the decisions at the end of life. The purpose of this study was to identify the primary family emotions that arise during intensive care unit conferences. Because conflict is an expression of negative emotion and a salient communication, Dr. Cavalli and her research team sought to quantify the frequency, content, and targets of conflict from the family perspective. A further purpose was to investigate any relationship between family conflict and family's capacity to make end-of-life decisions. How emotions and conflict feed into these more deliberate cognitive processes or areas of particular interest. The study involved 51 families and was conducted using archival data from a study of physician family conferences in the ICU. The data was collected from four Seattle area hospitals and the investigators identified ICU family conferences during which the physicians anticipated a discussion of withdrawal of life-sustaining therapy or delivery of bad news. Dr. Cavalli used a mixed methods design using both qualitative random theory and quantitative design using chi-square test and linear regression. And research um, results indicate that families often communicate their emotional states via conflict that families make statements of conflict resolution that reflect tolerance and understanding and are often embedded in positive affect, that conflict directed toward clinicians is associated with lower probability of making end-of-life decisions by families, and that family statements of internal conflict are associated with higher probability of making end-of-life decisions. Implications for this very important study highlight the need for clinicians and healthcare organizations to consider family as a focus of care in treating patients in the ICU. It raises the needs of families in transitioning from the difficult task of making sense of diagnoses and prognoses to the equally difficult task of shared medical decision making. Only after families have found a way to regulate their own affect and to integrate context can they take on the task of acting on behalf of the patient. Clinicians can help families by recognizing conflict as a saving communication, and when clinicians attune to the family emotional states and respond with empathic statements, families are better able to tolerate negative emotion and to make sense of new information. Dr. Kambali, congratulations. Recipient of the 2011 